Today is November 25th, 2013, and I'm interviewing Rachel Shoppert, the artist of the mural, and CPAM winner from 2011. So Rachel, before we talk specifically about the mural, I was wondering if you could give me some background information in terms of how you got interested in art and perhaps the education you took in that area. Sure. Um, well, I grew up uh, outside of um, Winnipeg. I grew up in rural Manitoba, um, southeast about 45 minutes, um, it, just outside of St. Anne, Manitoba. So uh, I basically grew up in the bush, <laughs> it was a funny way to say it, but um, uh, yeah. So I went to high school up there and it was a really small high school. Um, ever since I was a kid, I remember um, getting into a lot of painting and art and stuff. My mom always was doing crafts with us. She was also an artist, so, um, and also I guess there were other uh, family members who were artists as well. My uncle is an artist and my grandma is kind of a hobbyist artist but she is also um, really into watercolor. Um, so I, you know, I guess I came by it honestly in a sense. Like I, I grew up around it and um, I also feel like growing up in the country gave me a lot of space to, for my imagination to kind of run wild and kind of give me that, uh, give me different kinds of inspiration and stuff like that, or as far as I've thought about it anyway. Um, so, yeah, and actually in, like, my high school never even had an art class, which was interesting, but we created this uh, art club, so uh, we painted a few murals in the school mm -hmm. and that sort of thing, so that's kind of like how I got started with larger paintings and murals. Um, and then I moved to the city to go to the U of M and went to art school and I actually was interested in art history to begin with. Mm. Um, I think more because I was thinking, oh I have to, you know, be, or I have to try and go some academic route or something or I kind of, it's kind of like my, uh, year of denial or something like that. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a funny thing, but I, I realized that I really just needed to be making art and um, also like I really enjoy making art with other people, which I do um, a lot of the time as well. So um, so did you do a, a BFA? You did yeah, a BFA, I did a BFA at the University of Manitoba. Yeah. Yeah. And when I uh, painted the mural, it was actually at the time I was doing my thesis. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I graduated with the Bachelor of Fine Arts. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you talked a bit about scale. You, you did murals in high school. Are you drawn to that scale? I think so, painting? yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of the murals I've been a part of as well uh, were collaborative or um, were uh, kind of like community murals or and that sort of thing. So I really enjoyed working on like a large um, in a large scale but with like others and um, you know like community members and that sort of thing. I painted one on Ellis with the community and um, and I also had done other murals uh, through graffiti art programs mm -hmm. and um, Art City and yeah and this is and also I had done a few by myself which were fun for me too because it would just kind of give me this room to play which I really liked um, so yeah and also when I paint on canvas I often would do larger pieces as well so yeah okay so the process in specific to the mural we're talking about at, at the U of M mm -hmm. did you do preliminary sketches or did you just start painting on the wall um, well that's a funny question I guess when I when I had uh, heard about the mural uh, CPAM, the, mm -hmm. the, the projects or whatever, I was really um, struck by it because I was like, oh, a mural in the tunnel, that would be really fun because, you know, the murals are kind of like, I mean, not the murals, the, the tunnels are kind of dark and, you know, it would be nice to kind of like spread some color down there. So um, I had all this paint, like I have all these just cans of paint from other murals that I've done, right? So I was like, oh, well, this is great. Like I could like, you know, 
paint this, I, and I had no idea where I was going to paint it, but when I chose the spot, um, I kind of, I like to think about the place that I'm painting and like be site specific as much as I can in a sense. So um, even though a lot of uh, paint, like the, the way that I paint is very abstract or like surrealist uh, inspired, um, I a lot of the time will um, do some kind of sketches, although I was doing a lot of sketches um, for other paintings at the time. So I think the paintings that I, were, that I was doing at the time for my thesis and also thinking about the mural were kind of informing each other. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I had done some sketches, but not a lot. I just thought, okay, this mural is my chance to just kind of explode on the wall with some color and some, you know, um, <laughs> uh, some, some, you know, stuff like that. So I, uh, when I chose the spot, I was really interested in um, the fact that it was right beside the computer uh, computer lab, and also for this really funny reason that there was this security camera, um, mm. like it's kind of like this half spherical security camera shield. It's like silver. Uh, that's kind of between the ceiling and the the wall. So I thought that was a really neat thing to incorporate into uh, the composition as like a 3D element. So <laughs> I kind of actually was looking at the mural and the um, I kind of like centered it around that, which is bizarre. But it was more like a in an abstract way like I wasn't like oh it's a security camera like it wasn't like conceptually mm. connected in that way but more like the form um, although I don't know if you noticed or people notice there's like this funny um, message that I put in the mural uh, <laughs> that, that most people actually do not notice but I actually put text I don't know maybe it's been taken off who knows but I put text on the security camera um, just like this vinyl text that said imagination, but imagination, um, I split the O-N at the end, so it's like imagination on, so your imagination is on, <laughs> and uh, that was just like a funny thing, um, and I was thinking about that uh, because um, I guess we were in like the, the murals and the tunnels, and um, you know, it's I kind of feel like tunnels in a sense, or like a place where it's dark and like maybe, you know, it's a place in the shadows and, and that sort of thing. So I thought maybe this burst of color would kind of inspire the imagination. Mm -hmm. And then also I was thinking about the fact that it was beside a computer lab and, the, and that like this age that we're in is like this age of like technology and, and um, uh, you know, so many screens and these sorts of things and how we're kind of like taught our imagination in a lot of ways I think is conditioned to act a certain way or not at all so um, and when I'm making abstract work I really want to kind of spark that because a lot of the time when somebody looks at an abstract work they see all sorts of different things and people come to me and said oh I saw some fish in that mural and I was like sure <laughs> like you know it's it's whatever you bring to it right but um, when I was painting it I, I was sort of imagining um, like, it, there's elements of a kind of abstract landscape, but mm -hmm. also um, it's, uh, in a lot of ways, there's this very calm part, and there's this kind of more um, part that has more a chaotic kind of swirling effect, almost like somebody told me that it looked like a storm, which I thought that was interesting. So I was kind of, I always like to play with those kind of, balancing those uh, binaries or whatever. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find it very energetic. When I look mm -hmm. at it, I, I see a lot of nature. It looks very organic to me. Yeah. And when you, when we first started the interview, you were talking about bushes. Yeah. Right? Well, and I, I see these kind of spiky. Forest, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. So. But these really expressive bushes. I, I like, I love the energy of this piece. And then this object that looks almost like a sun could be it could be a storm, it could be this disintegration or this whole energy ball, you mm -hmm. know, it could be a lot of things, but um, yeah. yeah, it's very vibrant when you come around the corner and you see it. That's good, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I really like it. Yeah. Is, is there a reflection perhaps in the water? I don't know. Do you 
see do you read that as a horizon line maybe uh, oh man that's like I haven't seen this in a while um I didn't really necessarily mean for there to be a horizon line I'm mm -hmm. just looking at that's the photo me right now, but, yeah um, but perhaps I like I'm that. reading into it because <laughs> I'm painting lots of landscapes now too so I might right. be reading that into it yeah. um, so it's funny I'm not going to move the camera now but there is a canvas above her that I, I could just see that it, it's it's her work. So I was going to ask you, how does this mural fit into the rest of your oeuvre? Um, well, yeah, I guess I never really thought about it, but it, uh, when I was painting, well, the painting that's behind me and mm -hmm. like paintings that were in that series of paintings, um, I was thinking a lot about nature and about, um, oh shoot, that's horrible. Uh, <laughs> um, I was thinking about nature and I also was thinking about um, my connection with nature, um, in specific um, women. And um, I was thinking about our bodies as part of nature but more integrated and kind of this uh, fragmentation of the body. Um, and just kind of almost like this, the spirit of nature being connected with you, but almost like the body is absent. I don't know if that even makes sense, but, um, yeah, all the all many forms that I am painting are inspired by nature. And mm -hmm. I look a lot at, um, different artists who also have that, uh, way about them and also... Uh, Ernst Tackle is a really big uh, inspiration. He was like this biologist from the 18, uh, early 1900s, but he was also an artist and a philosopher. And um, he was interesting because he created these like panels of animals and um, flora and fauna and stuff. Um, but it was they were super fantastic. Like they weren't anatomically correct. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of interested in that, like that kind of fantastical idea of nature just that feeling almost because I feel like when I'm making art it's I'm more of like a feeling artist not like a thinking artist mm -hmm. and process that, is probably process important is too very important. yeah yeah like I, yeah. I feel like um, I don't like start with this you know meta idea or something like I, I I do but I have these ideas in mind and I have um, you know these these inspirations but also it's like through the process mm -hmm. I kind of find um, that it's it completes itself in the end and I I'm you know I'm really happy because it allows me to reflect in the end as well like about the piece or about you know whatever I'm creating but. yeah cause, I mean the act of painting itself will start to inform the work right exactly and then yeah. You'll, yeah kind of you know like this when there's this shape it a certain way and then yeah, things can happen this automatic flow or whatever yeah, and then yeah. And then you, you know, you step back and, and you kind of are like, oh, well, you know, that's, it's kind of revealing something. Mm -hmm. I also like murals for that reason because you can kind of collaborate with the space that you're in. So then maybe the space kind of reveals something to you in the process and it kind of, you know, you, you kind of change your, change your route or change how you're going to make something or whatever. So, so I know you have an eight month old lovely little baby <laughs> yeah. named Jasper. So you're probably not getting a lot of painting done right now. No, not painting in particular. I was, I've was i actually been working on small um, miniature sculptures, which I was working on before he was born, but very seldom. Like it's like, um, you know, when I get, when he goes to sleep at night, I have like an hour or two or something and I kind of get to be creative and use my hands and whatever, which is nice. but. Um, yeah, I'm not painting right now, but I'm sure it'll come. It'll time. come. <laughs> yeah. And weren't you a member of the Adzerbs? I, I was, yeah, like, yeah. It was funny because, um, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was kind of, uh, I guess they had this, they had, they, they're a group of artists and performance artists and whatever, and um, they were always having new people join and whatever just for fun, and I had joined them to, um, to do some performance with them at uh, um, the prairie scene in Ottawa or whatever. So mm. they were going there and they were doing some some things and that was, so that was really fun for me. Because I was kind of, I was really experiment, I was being really experimental with uh, performance and just like 
many different kinds of media, not just paintings. So that was fun. Yeah, it sounds like you're interested in a lot of media. So, mm -hmm. well, I want to thank you for Thanks. your time and, and your mural's wonderful. Thank you, Lee.